everyone, Granny Harris here, and today is the 100th day of school, so I'm going to read to you a book involving the 100. The Wolf's Chicken Stew. There once lived a wolf who loved to eat more than anything else in the world. As soon as he finished one meal, he began to think of the next. Is there a food that you like? that then you think about, oh, I can't wait to have that again. I know there's sometimes, especially when I'm on a diet, that I think about, oh, I can't wait to have that. Look at him dreaming about the food. One day, the wolf got a terrible craving for chicken stew. All day long, he walked across the forest in search of a delicious chicken. Finally, he spotted one. Oh, she's just perfect for my stew, he thought. Look at that chicken, even wearing a hat, little bonnet, kind of like me. The wolf crept closer, but just as he was about to grab his prey, now the chicken was also called prey because when you're trying to hunt for something, they call it their prey. Just as he was about to grab her, he had another idea. If there was just some way to fatten this bird a little more, he thought, there would be all the more stew for me. So, the wolf ran home to his kitchen and he began to cook. Look at him, he's using his foot to hold the cookbook down. He's cooking all the things that we need in the kitchen. You should try to help one of um, your parents or grandparents or somebody cook because there's a lot of great fractions in measuring cups. First, he made a hundred scrumptious pancakes. Then, then, late at night, he left them on the chicken's porch. Eat well, my pretty chicken, he cried. Eat nice and fat for my stew. A hundred pancakes. I don't think I could finish a hundred pancakes. Then next night, he brought a hundred scrumptious donuts. Eat well, my pretty chicken, he cried. Get nice and fat for my stew. What do we think of Henry next? We're sticking with dessert. Well, that's personal with breakfast. So now we're gonna stick with dessert. And on the next night he, he brought a scrumptious cake weighing 100 pounds. He's a strong wolf to be carrying that. Eat well, my pretty chicken, he cried. Get nice and fat for my stew. At last, all was ready. This was the night he had been waiting for. He put a large stew pot on the fire and set out joyfully to find his dinner. We're gonna head to this pretty house we've been seeing. I think they even have a welcome mat that says chicken. That chicken must be as fat as a balloon by now, he thought. Let's see. But as he peeked into the chicken's house, See, he's peeping into a little keyhole right there. The door opened suddenly and the chicken screeched. Oh, so it was you, Mr. Wolf. Look at, screech means yelling or welcoming and it scared the wolf. Children, children, look, the pancakes and the donuts and the scrumptious cake. They weren't from Santa Claus. All of those presents were from Uncle Wolf. <laughs> so look at him, he's thinking, no, oh goodness, Uncle Wolf. The baby chicks jumped all over the wolf and gave him a hundred kisses. Oh, thank you, Uncle Wolf. You're the best cook in the world. They're all giving him kisses all over him. Uncle Wolf didn't have chicken stew that night, but Mrs. Chicken fixed him a nice dinner anyway. All shucks, he thought as he walked home, maybe tomorrow I'll bake the little critters a hundred scrumptious cookies. So his plans changed after all. And the next day he brought him cookies. So I hope you have a great night. Good night, Harlan.